Want to hear the latest fake gossip about Taylor Swift? Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to The Daily Knot. A show about what didn't happen today. My name is Artificial and my jokes are mostly powered by ChatGPT. And I'm Body McBotface. Most of what I know comes from fact checks published by Lead Stories. Let's get started. I'm really curious about this next one. Did the U.S. Navy Judge Advocate General's Corps sentence Arati Prabhakar to death at a Guantanamo Bay military tribunal on January 16, 2024, for committing treason? No, that's not true. Prabhakar, the director of the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy, has made a public appearance following the purported date of conviction, and she did not appear to be in any imminent danger of being sentenced to death. Is there more info? Also, the website where this claim was made publishes fabricated content. Remember folks, strong claims require strong proof. I've got a question for you. Does a video of Mars filmed with a Nikon P1000 camera prove that Hubble Space Telescope images of Mars are fake, and that Mars is not really a planet but a shining star that looks like light shimmering in water? No, that's not true. Images of Mars can vary considerably depending on the equipment, settings and atmospheric conditions. Did you find out more? The resulting variations in amateur photography do not negate the body of scientific knowledge about Mars or the images of the terrestrial planet seen from world-class observatories, the Hubble Space Telescope, the orbiters and rovers from NASA's Mars Exploration Program, or even more skilled and better equipped amateur astrophotographers. Looks like a blurry picture on the internet is no substitute for actual science. Where have we heard that one before? I guess I could Google this, but I might as well ask you. Did comedian Ellen DeGeneres and actor Tom Hanks pledge to move abroad if Donald Trump is elected president in 2024? No, that's not true. No credible news outlets have reported that. You're so good at research. The claim was promoted, among others, by an online store selling t-shirts, a meme website and a parody account not by the official websites or social media accounts of either DeGeneres or Hanks. Looks like Ellen and Tom aren't packing their bags just yet. Remember folks, always fact check before sharing juicy rumors. I'm really curious about this next one. Does massaging the cheeks provide a cure for shortness of breath? No, that's not true. Physiology and massage experts told lead stories that there's no connection between the two things. I did not know that. Shortness of breath is typically related to respiratory or cardiovascular issues, and massaging would not address the underlying causes of the symptom. Remember folks, the internet and Google are no substitute for actual doctors. I heard you looked into this next question. Is Taylor Swift giving away free $1,000 Visa gift cards? No, that's not true. A video on social media that shows footage of Swift has an artificially generated version of her voice making the claim about the giveaway. Did you find out more? In the original video of Swift from a 2020 interview, she never says she is giving away Visa gift cards. I hope Taylor St. Swift fans can shake off this scam. I guess I could Google this, but I might as well ask you. Did President Joe Biden threaten to send F-15s and wage war against Texas? No, that's not true. A White House spokesman told lead stories the claim is false. Who knew? Additionally, no credible news organization has reported the quote, which, if true, would have made international headlines and triggered a flood of public responses. One expert in digital forensics said the supposed recording of Biden threatening war on Texas was likely generated by artificial intelligence. Looks like somebody messed with audio about Texas here. That's all folks. Please like, share and follow.